Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to focus how to minimize the visualization of the datum feature on your model. Do you remember that in the video tutorial where I have created this wheel, I have reused a couple of datum features and then at the end I have created axis pattern. And question is, if it's possible to drive and manage your model tree and the system will automatically hide a couple of features. So let's start, modify it a little bit. So I will delete the pattern from the tree. And right now you can see that I have a couple of default datum planes. Okay. These default datum planes you can hide and the system will hide the default datum planes. The question is, what can I do with the feature embedded in the group what was defined for the rip? If I will ungroup, it will be better to see everything in the model tree. And then you can simply to select a couple of feature and include inside. So what does it mean? For example, the DTM2 has been created based on the DTM1. Maybe we don't need to see the DTM1, so you can simply the drag into DTM2. It is not possible. This feature has been reused as the reference for the sketch or extrude feature. So you can continue and check what is possible to drag. And for example, we can have a look here and the DTM4 is possible to drag into sketch 2 and everything is hidden. Perfect. And same we can try with DTM3 and you can see that system automatically merge everything and put into sketch 1 and sketch 2. What does it mean? That the sketch 2 exists based on the DTM4 and point 3 and same sketch 1 exist based on the sketch plane DTM3 and point 2. The another additional feature seems that is not possible to hide or you can simply to drag and put here. So for example you can see here that some somehow the system cannot access is not possible. Fine, no problem. We have minimized the visualization of the features and right now it's possible to select the object one more time. So we will select all necessary features what are collected altogether. We can create a group and while we have created the group we can create again the pattern feature based on the axis and set the values. So for example 16 and number of members 16 and angle will be defined automatically. Confirm OK and if you will visualize it, right now we have minimized visualization of the datum features. How was possible? The question is if you would like to hide this datum plane somehow automatically. Yes, of course it is possible. So please select the Ctrl F or the Find function. You know that you would like to work with datum planes. So you can select the filter datum plane. You can find everything, for example, or only you know that is the call it DTM1, DTM2, and so on. So DTM star, yeah, and find now. And if you put everything in the right hand side, the system will show you these references and datum planes. Or you can simply use the function option and use function save query. What does it mean? The system will create for you automatic layer in the layer 3. So we can set the name DTM and OK. And if you will close and you will jump into layer 3, you can see here that right now I have all DTM 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and all together everything is placed here. So you can select function hide. The system will hide every datum planes what was collected. And if you use the right mouse button save status the system will remember that in future, if you will open the model one more time, the datum planes will be hidden. You can continue 
with the search functionality and for example hide the sketches 2d curves 3d curves and so on so you can see that filter what you can put in the automatic layer is really huge thank you very much and stay tuned bye bye Vladimir.